and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yard. Let's enter the Dark Matter. I was expecting something less decrepit. Man, the brochures lied to me again. It's the last time I trust that travel site. This darkness gimmick isn't as annoying as it might seem. There aren't actually any bottomless pits here. So really, it's just hiding secrets. Like this. That's not an important secret, but it's beads. Beads are shiny and happy and nice. These light ball of yarn things will decrease in brightness over time. It's not that big of a deal. You can see it's kind of shrinking right there. Still kind of glows. Maybe the light bulb's just bad. And not environmentally friendly. I want a ghost in a box. No real reason, I just want a ghost in a box. Can yoink on this to temporarily light up these lights. Can you yoink on them as many times as you want. Because making it limited would be kind of stupid. Dang it. Stop running into things. Darkness hides things. Obviously. What kind of darkness would it be if it didn't hide things? You stupid. Pull on this. No reason. I mean, it's kind of obvious where to go. Is there something up there? Probably. There's some beads over there. Mm, I think I messed up somewhere. Yep, definitely messed up. I was supposed to break that. Break these. Thanks. That, that's super useful. It's something you cannot possibly afford to miss. Break that, you get a star bead. Everybody likes star beads. It's really weird. This is hiding more stuff than appears to be shown. Unfortunately, it doesn't contain a book telling me how to speak better. That would be useful. Man, that communications class I was forced to take was a waste of time. Evidently, Kirby never thought going into a well in a haunted mansion would be a bad idea. I need a thing for that. Stupid blocks. Always getting in my way. Why do blocks have to get in my way? It's like they exist to get in my way or something. It's like their entire purpose of being there. Games should never put things in your way. It's just a waste of time. It should always just hand you the exit. Just hand you. Every, like, every single collectible just lined up in front of you. Games should always be like that. You know, what's the fun in actually trying? I know that sounds odd, playing this game, but, you know. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Don't smack those guys. They get mad. But they do light things up in this dark area. Kind of unnecessary, because the beads show you where to jump. But I guess it's nice for people who don't want to pay attention to beads. Did I miss something back there? A few beads. That was worth it. At least these guys can now show me the way without disappearing. Just wait carefully and unnecessarily take it slowly because I don't want to lose beads. And finally out of the well. It's probably really nasty water down there, so that's good. I don't think this place has very good room service. This place looks like crap. Secret! Secret beads! Kinda like the darkness effect, it's just weird fabric. 
And this way is the music. I haven't said it yet, but I really like the music in this stage. It's like that spooky, Halloween y, Kirby esque music. It's really neat sounding. And down here is that thing. Usually that thing is harder to find and more well hidden. Hey, this thing! Let's pull it! Bad idea. Being chased by questionable looking ghosts. Actually look like the ghosts from Mega Man 3 and Gemini Man stage. I'll go back and get the treasure I missed, and then meet you back in Quilty Square. Or Quilty Court. Quilty Place. That guy is just there. Okay, so I lied. I'm actually in the apartment. Now that I have the correct furniture, I can finish decorating this room. Let's grab this bear. And go over here and grab this dresser. You look like something from Super Paper Mario. Matter of fact, she has a name from something from Super Paper Mario. Yes, every single minigame with Carrie is simply getting her to a designated spot within the time limit. Not exactly a speed run, but I guess it's something like it. Carrie cannot be used as a weapon. She's just dead weight. It's like that if you're playing with a partner. If you're playing a second player, the second player is like that if you grab them. And this is just the first level. You cannot climb ladders with her, so you have to throw her up to other platforms that spontaneously materialize out of nowhere. Guess they had to make it possible somehow. No, I wanted to pull that. Sometimes she gets in your way. And I keep forgetting you can't actually do things when carrying her. Grab you. Ignore those beads because I don't feel like them. No! Get out of my way. Don't particularly like these minigames. Not interesting. No, don't pull on it. Swing on it. It's like you don't have any brains or something. It's like you made out of yarn. Jump up here, grab those beads, and boom. Yes, fun. That was so much fun. So much fun, I can't even describe how much fun it was. Thanks. Thanks for dropping fabric on my face. Oh, no, not you again. Can't you do anything by yourself? How do you even run this place? Like, how do you survive if you have to get other people to give you beads for them? For you. Like, you're supposed to do this yourself. Yeah, whatever. Here's your bees, you lazy butt.
Rivals the castle? That's heresy. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to crucify you. And let's take a look at these guys. I don't actually have the furniture needed for either of these. As a matter of fact, the second apartment here, I won't have the furniture until two worlds from now. So I'll have to come back and do that much later. I have some of this, but not all of it. And now, I'm going to show a nifty little shortcut feature for you to jump between worlds quickly. Go to the map. Much faster. But that's about this time for Kirby's Yarn Epic Play Let's. Next time, I'll start up Waterland. I'm Buppix, and I'll see you then. Bye!